What is going on guys? Today we are looking at one to watch Sane 309k for the possibility of a 90 plus Sane by the end of the year. 85 as his base. He is a newly transfer to Bayern Munich. He's got pretty decent stats to be honest. Even his base card at the minute is crashed down from 100k to 75 due to obviously the weekend league kind of finishing on the Sunday. We still have a day left of it but we know the sell-off is normally the second day into it with obviously the, uh, the extra extended weekend league for the very first one has kind of screwed up the market a little bit. But Sane is coming in at a four-star skiller with the three-star weak foot. He is left-footed, standing at six foot. Six foot with 93 pace is amazing. And he genuinely feels like he's got that pace. He's a high-medium work rate from attacking to defensive. In terms of his stats then, with his 93 pace, he has got 81 shooting as his base, which for a left mid is not bad at all. We've got 85 dribbling. Balance and reactions, not the highest, but he does have the 88 dribbling, 85 ball control, and 84 agility. 80 composure on him isn't bad. I feel like I'm seeing a trend with the composure, and I still think that they've lowered down all the stats so that when we get more and more promos, and I feel like they'll probably fit in a couple more this year, is that they're not kind of washed out with all of the stats not having too much of an upgrade. So Asane got coming in at a shapeshifter, and then we've got uh, another left mid, Mane, coming in as a shapeshifter, and then we get Headliner, Mbappe, Neymar, and they're all not kind of crowded together with the same sort of stats. I feel like they'll definitely kind of sp spread them out a little bit. And we did see the introduction of the new team of the week as such, where they're kind of more upgraded based on their performance of what they did if they score a hat trick on their left foot but they're right footed we see an upgrade in their weak foot i've still yet to see it obviously that would be all over twitter if it did happen so far but that's something that going forward it'd be nice to see obviously they did that last year with the skill moves and the weak foot being upgraded and i think that was one of the first times they've done a, a good collective of players to do that so hopefully we do see more of that in terms of passing, it's 79 on the overall, but everything's over 80 bar from his long passing. And to be honest, I'm not really too fussed about that one. As long as his crossing and his short pass was quite good, I'm, I'm pretty happy with his passing in general. In terms of chemistry style, people are going for more of a finisher, finisher on him because I feel like he'll do better up front than actually on the left mid. Just the fact that he is six foot tall. He's a very big player and a very big player to have on the wing away from everybody and I really liked him at that position to be honest if I was to whack a finisher on him he turns into an 89 left wing or an 88 striker and I can see why people would want that you can obviously change him in game if you were going for cams dms and no wingers or two strikers obviously he would fit really nicely and I think that is probably the main reason a lot of people are going with a finisher for him the next one would be catalyst and dead eye that for me then would be more of a winger's kind of job. You get the pace, and do you need to put a catalyst on him? I feel like that's a little bit overkill, in my opinion. I would much rather go with the dead eye because even I didn't put a, I didn't put a hunter or anything like that on him. I think I went with the finisher due to obviously having um, footbin su uh, suggestion on it, and I just think anything pace related for him isn't really going to be amazing. Maybe you could go with an engine because you're not wasting any pace with that. It's a plus five, taking him up to 98, but then it gets his passing up and it does get his dribbling up and gets his balance up, which is obviously one of the ones that, to be honest, you probably want to do. It would turn him into an 89 left wing, but only an 84 rated striker. So it all depends on what you want. I think if you're going for more attacking, shooting and assisting kind of striker or left mid left wing, you want to go with finisher. If it's all out wing play, then I would potentially offer engine as the solution but anyway let's get into some gameplay and see how he did so going into the gameplay what did i find and as you can see if you see in the top left foot champs was the game mode that we tried him in and i thought you know what we're going all out with it i've got a lot of foot champs to go it's not been an amazing start even though sane blasts past the keeper and he gets his first goal in 18 minutes of his first foot champs game it was impeccable and i think i do like i'm, I'm a weird one because i really like doing reviews in foot champs because it kind of it grounds the game for me. It makes it into a normal game. All I'm thinking about is getting the clips. As long as I'm using someone who is relatively good, like I have used informs that just are not are not foot champs worthy, and it, it kind of kills that sort of aspect. But with someone like Sane, if I was going with a Dembele, a, Vel, a Valverde, a Werner, it would work well because 
I'm thinking of the clips. I'm giving it to Sane. We're trying something. Obviously, we're in the kind of lower stages of the game still. Um, so, obviously, it's, it's a little bit easier. We did manage to go 2-0 with him. So, I'm very happy with his performance there. Unfortunately, this one just going offside. But his assist play was absolutely phenomenal. He was bursting down the wings, always making runs, making them chances, getting the ball and really opening up the opposition like how a left mid and a right mid should do. We had obviously Rafina from Leeds on the other side who was putting in some work as well and really trying to get it. As we went 3-2, we then make it 4-2 for his second goal in his first foot champs game for me. I was over the moon with him. I thought this is a great, great card and Bayern Munich obviously are a dominant team in their league. So there is a heavy chance if he does play that he will get an inform. And that is something that you want to see. And remember that they're in the Champions League. Bayern Munich normally do pretty well. They, they go a few rounds and it gives you a better chance of a Champions League man of the match. An international man of the match is a potential as well. I don't know whether they're, that's going that will probably carry on during... Um, the Euros if we have that later on this next year in fact so there is a lot of chance for him to go up yes there is a lot of chance that he probably won't but I think he's worth the chance to be honest he's a great player he doesn't cost as much and I don't think you'll have to wait too long so going into the overall for Sane I've given him an overall of 9 out of 10 the links that he's got are fantastic you've got Royce you've got Lewandowski Haaland Werner Davis Kimmich, the new flashback Vitzel. You've got so many options. Even the one to watch, I think it's He Chan, I want to say his name is, from Leipzig, I want to say. Beautiful, beautiful links right there. You've got the German icons. You've got, I think it's a baby Lam who's left back. You've also got Closer up front. You've got Matthias or Matthias, however you pronounce it. There is so many links in the German in the German nationality and also in the Bundesliga. There's quite a few decent players that you can get into. Obviously, we'll have a look at a few of the links Footbin suggests. But I'm, I was really happy with him. I thought it was a great card. Managed to get three goals in two games in foot champs and I think two assists, I want to say. Very, very well done to him. Like I said, in terms of his chemistry style, finisher would turn him into almost a striker. He's six foot with 93 pace. Not the greatest of strengths, I will add that, but that can be rectified if you want to go with something maybe like a sniper. Then you can get that again. It's not really hitting that bonus for you, but I think that would be, it would be good as a striker, to be honest. I think left forward, striker, left wing, it's more than possible. Engine offers that balance. It gives you that extra pace, but as well, the passing is mainly there. And then you've got a bit more on that dribbling, giving you the all important balance. And then obviously a little bit more dribbling up to 98. You can never argue with that. In terms of the price, I think it's, it's reasonable. To say it's 75k for his 85, you could get him cheaper. Obviously, you want to... I don't know if these are going to go up out of packs. I can't remember what Team 1 did. But there's a potential that you want to wait for the last day or even a rewards day. So I think the only... I don't think they're in till Thursday. So the only rewards day you'll get is later on on the Monday morning. So I think it's like 12, 1 o'clock when you get the pre-order packs and you get squad battle rewards. That potentially could be the day to get him. Um, I, I'm not going to offer massive suggestions because I'm not a massive trader. I, I don't know the ultimate lowest point for you but i'd say if you've got them if you've got the coins and you've got a bundesliga team he could be worth the investment long term he could be a very very good card i really rated him i thought he was a really good card in general and overall he's just a nice player to have in your team to be honest left mid wise obviously neymar's up there but other than that in a specific league you haven't got too many options generations of him then just before we go we had a bronze Cam Sane at Schalke in FIFA 15. He then went from a silver to a gold, getting himself... I think that's a team of the season. Is that a team of the season? It's absolutely crackers if it is. An 83, I believe that looks like a team of the season. Then, obviously, we went into FIFA 17. He got himself a cheeky footies. We went then into 18. And he got himself in the Premier League team of the season. Again, getting a headliner on 19. In then, we got a... I think that's an SBC. Is that a... That's a transferred one. I think they gave that right at the end. It was like an SBC premium. And then, obviously, we're now into FIFA 50, uh, FIFA 21, where he's dropped down a rating, but he's already got himself a one to watch, ready to go up. We've actually gone up in price a little bit whilst talking. So, definitely worth a look at. I think he would be an interesting one to buy. Um, he could go up, and I feel like Bayern Munich is 
somewhat of a safe bet. All down to him. I think, what, what has he done in real life? Two matches, one goal, two assists. That's all I'm saying. I'll leave it there. Make sure you like and subscribe. That's all good.